Movie madness. Wow. 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 What a week. Right from the opening group dance to in condo we knew it was going to be one heck of a night. We had the first tens of the series. Now, I have said since the beginning that I didn't like the couples getting such high marks this early on, but I have to admit that those tens for Tyler and Diane were so deserved. It was a perfect Charleston and this couple are going to be dangerous. I was pleasantly surprised that so many couples had improved. I wonder if this is because it was a themed week and the celebs have a clear character to play, rather than being themselves? I was a big fan of Kim and Graziano's Charleston too. It was a fantastic dance for her. Matt made an improvement, which I was pleased to see, as did James. I really loved Helen's Viennese waltz too. It really suited her. I find Hamza to be a classy elegant dancer and I like that. He is a big contrast to others with a really elegant style. Having said that, the judges want him to give more energy and pizzazz, so I think that next week he should come out and give them what they want. Special mention to the hair, makeup and costume teams who were incredible as always. Oscar winning moments Tony. Of course Tony. He stripped on national television. He sampled, wiggled, went for it, enjoyed it, had facial expressions and smashed it. Jade made me emotional again. The joy that radiated from her just got to me. That's what dancing is all about and it is what Strictly is all about. My top 4 this week, 1. Tyler and Diane, 10, well deserved. Charleston Perfection. Watch out for this one. 2. Will and Nancy, 8, as one of the judges said he made ballroom sexy. 3. Helen and Gorka, 7, ballroom girl. If she brings up the Latin then she could be a dark horse for Jade and Karen, 7, totally embrace what Strictly is. Confident, joyous and talented. Shocker dance off. Did the right one go? Well, what can we say? Totally unexpected. Two extremely good couples, who I think we all imagined would go quite far and one of which I thought would be a finalist. Was it Fleur's best week? No, but it was still good. In my opinion, Richie had a good week. In the dance-off there seemed to be one missed step by Richie. Whereas Fleur had listened to the judges' comments and danced beautifully. So yes, the result was right. It just goes to show, no one is safe. 2014 Strictly Come Dancing winner Joanne Clifton has teamed up with the UK's leading online bingo site which bingo to deliver an honest, weekly summary of the ups and downs of each episode of this year's Strictly Come Dancing series.